Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is my second audio discussing urinary tract infections in children, adolescents, and young adults. Um, this audio, I'm going to be briefly talking about management of urinary tract infections once they are diagnosed and treatment. So first of all, I want you guys to know that when I can diagnose a urinary tract infection, I always look at that urine to tell me what I'm seeing. I mentioned um, quite a bit about diagnosis in the previous audio, so please uh, take a look at that if you think that might be helpful for you. But when I see a urinary tract infection or infected urine, I always see a significant amount of white blood cells in that urine and may or may not see something called nitrites, which is a substance made by bacteria in the urine that can show up um, as well. But white blood cells are always my key. Sometimes I'll see blood um, in the urine as well that shows up on my urinalysis that may not be visible to the eye, and that's something I can see too. So when we see these symptoms, what we do is we always, always want to take treatment in terms of antibiotics. This is one of the times I will tell my families that I I need to make sure that we clear this urinary tract infection as bacteria in the urine can move up into the kidneys and can get very, very bad in terms of turning somebody septic with a blood infection and making the kidneys significantly sickened if we do not treat a urinary tract infection. So this is one of those times that antibiotics is critically needed to help your little one or your adolescent or young adult work through this bacterial process. When I manage UTIs, there are a few different antibiotics that can be used. So if your child has a specific medication allergy, always make sure you remind your doctors, whether you're at their ER, the urgent care, or with your pediatrician, to make sure that they remember what you can and can't be prescribed for your child. <clears throat> Excuse me. When we have urinary tract infections, what I do is not only do I use that urinalysis, but I have to send that urine out for a culture as well. So what we do is we take a tube of that urine, we send it out to the lab, and the lab will use a Petri dish to grow bacteria. And through that Petri dish, they will use different antibiotics to see how that bacteria responds to that specific antibiotic. It's interesting because there are quite a few bacteria that can cause UTIs. So if we just use a medication without knowing what the bacteria is and how that bacteria responded to the antibiotics, then I really am not doing a good job with medical management of this patient. So sending the urine for culture is always, always a requirement for me to make sure, and for every physician and provider, to make sure that we know exactly what bacteria this is. After a couple of days, what happens is that, that urine culture will come back. The lab will send us, generally it'll take three days, <clears throat> excuse me again, and what we'll do is we'll know if we need to change an antibiotic or not. And there's specific um, antibiotics that, that we will be able to consider, knowing the allergies of the child, knowing any sensitivities. And if we need to change that, we can. I do want you to know that when I see a UTI, I do start treating it immediately as best as I can. And one of the medications, the, the groupings of medications called cephalosporins, are ones that are generally pretty well treating any kind of bacterial infection that we can see. So I try to put them in a broad spectrum antibiotic that I know I, I will be most unlikely to have to change. And uh, if I do see that urine culture shows me that there's a better antibiotic to treat that UTI, then I will change that and I'll contact the family to do so. And um, that's where we'll go from there. I don't have to treat, as long as symptoms are are resolved, in you know a period of five to ten days, I do not have to recheck that urine. I know I get asked that question quite a bit, but if the symptoms are resolved, then that urinary tract infection is resolved as well. If symptoms persist, of course we want to make sure we go ahead and we um, take another look at that urine to make sure we cleared it. 
So urinary tract infections are one of those things that we want to make sure we use antibiotics for and make sure we understand what was causing the urinary tract infection. If this is a little one that had a second UTI, and the first one we let go, we talked about constipation, we talked about different ways to limit soaps and fragrance products, things like that, and they get a second one, what I typically do then is I will send them to urology and make sure that we get a workup to understand where this urinary tract infection is stemming from. As I mentioned in the previous audio, there can be uh, urology um, abnormalities, there can be kidney abnormalities, and we want to make sure we don't miss any of those. So after a second UTI in a, in a child, particularly an infant, what I'll do is um, make sure that we go through a workup with urology, who is always, always so very helpful. And starting off with a kidney ultrasound and another test that can look at the movement of urine through the bladder through the kidneys is very helpful to know if there's any backup of that urine as uh, as they do urinate and go through their uh, process and knowing that there's if there's any reflux or backup reflux is basically a backup when you hear of the word kidney reflux or urinary reflux it means that urine's not getting where it needs to go for some reason and we need to figure that out uh, I think that may be it of all of the major um, items I wanted to discuss about UTIs and management. Remember, antibiotics is the way to go. Prevention is key. Knowing how to prevent them in the first place so we don't have to use antibiotics is really the key. And as physicians, we always, we always take urinary tract infections very seriously. If there is symptoms that involve, in, particularly in adolescents and young adults, that involve fevers and back pain. That's always worrisome for uh, the kidney involvement. And the kidneys are right back at both flanks, right behind there. So if I tap on the back flanks of these patients and they are, are hurting, then that is something that tells me that this could be an infection involving the kidneys. The fancy term for this is called pyelonephritis, and pylo means kidney, nephritis means inflammation of the kidney from infection. So that's something that I want to make sure that we keep an eye out for our older kids, our adolescents, and sometimes our younger kids, our school-age kids can present with that too. And that's something we want to make sure we take very, very seriously is they can get very ill once that once that infection moves up into their kidneys. We want to prevent that as best as we can and go from there. Um, we want to make sure we offer them ample fluids during a kidney infection. Cranberry's fine too. There have been some, some studies that show that using cranberry juices are, are great for the pH, changing the pH to make it less likely to become infected by the, by the bacteria in the bladder. Um, but in general, we do want to make sure, um, I'm sorry, there is an airplane going overhead right now. I'm sorry for that. Um, but what we do want to make sure is we offer an ample, ample amount of fluids to them to make sure that they can clear this bacteria, keep that urine nice and clear, nice and clean, and uh, making sure that they're able to do that too. So encouraging them to use the bathroom, not to hold that urine in if they have to go. And as we treat the bacteria, then their urinary frequency where they feel like they have to go significantly or they're hurting when they're going, um, then that's something that will decrease as well. All right, guys, I think that's it for urinary tract infections. Please remember to talk to your doctors with any questions or concerns. Every patient's very different. Every reason for a UTI can be very different, too. Remember that we are here for you, and we take urinary tract infections quite seriously. So always, always let us know if there's questions or concerns with your kids. Thank you so much, guys. Have a great day.